so sorry to keep you holding. That's okay. What can we help you with? I'm, uh, I don't understand these um, U.S. embassies, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know why we have them. Um, uh, recently, I went on vacation to Haiti. I fell in love and I got married. And uh, the embassy wouldn't let me uh, issue a tourist visa to let me bring my wife to America. Mm -hmm. I actually found the embassy to be, like, very unhelpful. Uh, I was allowed to go inside, but twice the security guards kind of, they pushed me away. It seemed like they just basically just didn't want me to go inside. I don't know if it was just um, racism, you know, or uh, what, what the deal was. Um, but it wasn't helpful, it was it? It was an intimidating environment, and they have American services supposedly there, but um, I, I just didn't feel comfortable in the whole place. The, um, the one gentleman even sexually harassed my wife. He said... Um, ooh la la, petite madame, and he looked her up and down, so, you know, I have to endure, you know, sexual harassment, and then he's telling me all the wrong directions, he tells me to go over here and go over there, and, um, there's a... you applied for a visa? Yeah, I applied for a visa online, the, uh, security guard said to do it online, and we followed all the steps, and, um, there's three visas that we were, uh... Uh, I, I believe that, you know, should have been acceptable. There's a tourist visa, there's an immigration visa, and there's a spousal visa. The spouse and the immigration visa took a longer time. The tourist visa could be issued more quickly, and I had a flight in three days after the uh, wedding. So um, we applied for the tourist visa, but I felt like I had paid my money. If I couldn't get the tourist visa, why not give me the spouse visa and go through that route? It just seemed like the guy, he laughed. He, you know, he, After he told me no, he laughed about it. And I just thought, like, he didn't help me, like, further what I need to do or where I need to go. He basically just said no and just said, you know, get out of here. And it was like, damn, it's my wife, you know. It's my, like, I love her. Like, I mean, I, I feel uh, uh, empty. What's your name, sir? Jonathan Masters. J O H N A T H A N, Masters, just like it sounds, Masters. J O H N A T H A N. Okay. And what's your mailing address? Or, uh, or do you use an email? I, I can give you both if you want. Uh, just we what we have to have a privacy form to start with. Okay. So we can email it or mail it. We will email it. Okay, it's a, it's kind of a long address, but it's my full name. I'll say it, and then I'll spell it out for you. Okay. It's Jonathan Daniel Masters at gmail dot com, and it's you know J O H N A T H A N D A N I E L M A S T E R S. Is that Gmail? At, at what'd you say? At G Gmail. Gmail dot com. All right, and can I get your phone number? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's 502-436-7900. Okay. Okay. And what's your name? Can I get your name? Sure, my name is Lucy. Lucy, is nice talking to you. Good to talk to you. We will get you a privacy email this afternoon. When you get it, be sure you fill it out completely. There's two pages. Sign it, date it, and get it back to us, and then that gives us your written permission to help you. Okay. Okay? Cool. Thank you very much. Oh, you're sure welcome. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. As Senator ran Paul's office in Bowling Green. Was, she was helpful. Hopefully, hopefully we can get something going.